What's going on, everyone? My name is Impulse, and welcome back to Hermitcraft. Oh my goodness, this took me a long time to build. <laughs> How amazing was that opening time lapse? That was probably the biggest build I've ever done in a time lapse maybe ever oh so much work went behind this and it looks fantastic does it not i love the detail we are not done by the way but those of you wondering what is this thing this is i'm gonna call it the ice fortress and why i call it the ice fortress is because this is my ice farm i finally finished i've been chipping away at this massive ice farm all season long and it is finally done and once i got it done i thought you know what we need walls around it. This thing needs to be protected. And now we have them because we did it. We did it. So I'm going to do something right now I don't usually do. I'm going to ask you guys for some help here because at least 20 hours so far has been put into this. And we got, what, like 45 seconds of content in that time lapse? Typical YouTuber problems. But you guys could help me out right now by hitting that like button. You, you, you really could. It is free. It's not going to cost you anything, but just a little clicky of the mouse. If you hit that like button, it's letting YouTube know y'all think this video is good enough for YouTube to give out to other people to see if they like it too. So that would be amazing if you guys could do that. I would truly, truly appreciate it because like I said, I've put in a ton of work into this and we're going to do a little bit more work. It's not done. Needs some details, but I thought it also might be cool if... You know, since we just went through a 45 second, here's how this thing got built. What if we rewind a little bit? What if we backtrack? How exactly did I manage to get the enormous amount of materials to even build this thing? So let's take a look right now, starting off with the list of sheer materials needed to construct this. So here we go. This is the number of materials that went into this build. As you can see, I actually had to break it down by how many shulker box were needed for some of these materials. And of course, how did I know how many materials I was going to need? Well, it's because I built this whole thing in creative first. Now, I didn't actually record myself building in creative and going over my kind of design flow or anything like that. So we're going to have to reenact the whole thing. And um, yep, that's perfect. So looking at the list, it was obvious to me that Blackstone acquisition was going to be the hardest thing to come by. So I did the only thing I can think to do. I went to the nether and I tore down an entire bastion. Just kidding. No, I didn't. <laughs> I actually just asked Tango if it was cool if I could use his piglin bartering farm and get it from there. With the Blackstone now covered, I noticed the next thing on my list was light blue concrete and I needed 5,274 blocks of it. So this time I was going to have to get my hands dirty and actually do some work. Next on the list is 4,356 packed ice. Not regular ice, packed ice. That means a lot of ice farming for me. Luckily, I just finished my enormous ice farm. Next up, 3,240 snow blocks. So you know what that means? Do you want to build a snowman? Oh yeah, and lots of harvesting and lots of crafting. So I'm gonna take a break and go meet up with Azuma because he wants to show me my new penthouse suite in his building. Well, Impulse, if you just look over your shoulder here, the view is not blocked, is it? Not at all, man. And no. I see a beautiful building has emerged. Hmm. Very but well I want someone to live in it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you did so, offer me like the top floor, right? Do you just want it anyway? Uh, of course. I mean, I'm not going to say no to free real estate. <laughs> well, it's it's yours then. By the way, you got to take that helmet off. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um. So B Dubs, he dyed my hair pink. It may have seeped yeah. into my brain a little bit, cause uh, yeah, I'm kind of digging, kind of digging the pink. I don't know if you noticed, my base is still pink, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's good. I like it. You're embracing it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so you want to show me? You want to show me this this top floor? I don't even know how to get up yeah, there. Yeah, sure. You have to go to the bottom floor to get there. Okay. That's, you know. Oh. That's generally how moving through buildings works. Are you are you selling stuff already? Is this? Yeah, yeah, it's oh, all up. Wow. It's all stocked up. All cool. the different bricks and clay, all that stuff is all for sale. Very nice. And just, just. Oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> um, you just went through a skull, man. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> 
so this narrow cramped staircase if we just go up here and we we just ignore that door's nothing okay to see not, right not that floor There's got nothing it to see on that one either okay you just go all the way to the top my friend and look at this oh okay drag kelp blocks got it luxury lounge this is impeccable neat. view of the local cuisine oh is this part is this part mine too yeah this is it right here this oh. is the entrance so you've got this big lounge area and then you've got like a bedroom over here i guess you could say oh uh, okay okay a little bit of a problem it doesn't really like have hmm. the best of views of your base <laughs> right yeah i can just see the top of it yeah, you might want to make a modification there. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, it's but a bit awkward. It looks like it's got like a part that we can go out. Like, what happens if I open this up a little bit? Oh, can we go out here? <gasps> oh, dang. Sorry, I just, oh, I I guess just broke you your building. <laughs> or, or my, my, this is mine now, right? So I'm allowed. Oh, to... Yeah, yeah, I, I embrace this. Look, oh, you've got a patio. I'm all about you embracing saw things. I didn't see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There it is. Now you got the view. Spectacular. Oh man, I'm gonna need a yeah. lounge chair. <laughs> well, this is it cool, like man. It'll work all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like it, man. And the building looks spectacular. Thanks. Yeah, I just I've been so inspired by everything going on. And if you just put your mind to it and spend a little bit of time in creative, it don't take too long to figure stuff out, you know. Oh man, I'll tell you, I've been uh, I've been working on a big project lately. I know exactly what you mean. Building. Mm can be fun and tedious and sometimes frustrating but mostly fun <laughs> yeah definitely fun well thanks for the space man i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna put some stuff in here and make it look good yeah it's it's i've done it in a way where it's just open for decoration right all i've done is yeah. put in some floors and ceilings and it's good to go perfect man i truly appreciate it thank you awesome I am so looking forward to decorating that penthouse, but I can't stay long because we still have 1,500 sea lanterns that we need for this build. So here we are at the Guardian Farm, crafting away some sea lanterns. The last thing on our shopping list today is some smooth quartz. We need some slabs, some stairs, and regular blocks. Of course, I have plenty of that because I've used so much quartz this season. We're good to go. So now we've got everything together, let's take it to the build site. And of course, after that, we went to town on the build in the time lapse you saw at the beginning of this video. And these are the leftovers. Look, we actually did over craft a little bit, even though we had the, uh, the, the numbers there. But always better to be safe than sorry. So there you go. We got some stuff left. But anyway, this is all actually here because I was hoping we could use this for water sources in here. But then I just remembered, like, so I think this is where one of the water sources should go down. And if we break an ice block, let me use a fortune pick, maybe that would be faster. Uh, if there's nothing under it, yeah, 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 that's a problem, right? The water doesn't actually flow. So, hmm, what could we do here to make this easier? I don't really want to have to get a bunch of buckets of water and come over here and do it that way. So I wonder if we can kind of cheat the system a little bit. Maybe if we do this, put some scaffolding in to get higher, and we put a snow block underneath, now that should turn to water. And then if we get our shovel and get rid of that, there we go. That might be the way to go. Oh, and I probably should have put some blocks underneath because I think... I may have just flooded. Hope I didn't flood the redstone here. <laughs> Where did it go? Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. Um, so I'm going to go around because there's a lot of water sources to be put in. It's actually part of the design. And I didn't do that during the time lapse. So I'm going to do that now. Also, there's probably a ton of spots where I, I kind of made a mistake. In fact, uh, just as I said that, I can already see one right away. This was so intricate of a build that uh, it, it's it, you know it's bound to happen. Obviously, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss some blocks here and there, so I'll be keeping my eye out for them as I'm going through and putting in all these water sources. But um, yeah, let's see if we can at least get get this wall done with the water sources. That's gonna be a bit of a tedious task. There we go. That is looking much better. Gives it a little bit of animation. Makes it a little bit softer to see this water kind of flowing through and eventually I got smarter about it and realized a lot of the places I was placing the ice down had sea lanterns nearby like in these cases so yeah I would just place the, the ice block and just give it some time and it would melt and I think we may still be waiting on a few 
to melt but it looks like all these ones are done but maybe down at that end where i ended up still might be needing a little bit more time and also look at this i added a fountain in over here this is kind of cool kind of looks like the water's coming up through this part right here and then up and over so i think i want to go around and add those to the corners and then i was also thinking this part right here looks like it should be hanging some sort of chandelier or something should be hanging in here by the way this is kind of the entrance so we go through the corners There's there's no center entrance they're all corner entrances eventually we will need to make this mob proof so i need to figure that out how we can make sure that mobs don't get in here because that's the whole point we don't want mobs on the inside of this guy and also speaking of the inside i want to make the inside also look good so we had some water flowing on the outside and i think if we add some water on the inside we can also make some really cool effects here i mean just look at this this is begging for a bit of a waterfall so and it also is begging for an extra snow block right there that I obviously missed. Uh, so yeah, let's take care of the inside now. And also, I think I'm going to work on some chandelier decoration for these corners. And just like that, now the insides also look good. We've got the water flowing there, that waterfall. Fixed a lot of missing blocks as well, which is awesome. And that wall is good to go. Of course, that means... I do need to do the other three walls. That kind of sounds like a job for a live stream to go around and fill in the rest of the water. So we'll save that. But also I wanted to show you over here, I have been working on a little bit of a, I guess you could call it a chandelier, but we just got this deal kind of hanging from the ceiling right here. And at the bottom, a little bit of light poking through and the waterfall over here as well, which looks good. So let me know what you guys think of that little design there. It's not much, it's just kind of a, a little bit hanging from there and I do need to figure out how we're gonna transition into here because, uh, oh, I should probably mention this. You might be wondering, why did we go with this design of just four walls and not actually have a structure over top of this? And that's pretty simple because we can't put any blocks over top of this ice or else it won't form, right? It, ice needs, or water basically needs a access to the skies, full skylight, can't even put glass above it or string or anything or else ice won't form out of water blocks. So that is why in this biome, we have to have completely open sky access for this farm to work. And instead, we're just gonna do this fortress of these walls around it and hopefully eventually keep some mobs out. But the goal after this is to have a bit of a basement as well, because you might've seen, uh, we have some storage underneath here and it's not great at the moment i don't even have oh i got rid of my axe but there is some storage back here actually let's just do this we'll work our way back in here i set up this as the storage for the ice right now and i think it'd be kind of cool to have a basement underneath the ice farm we need to get i probably took all the ice out of here just about um we need to get a snowman in here i want to also have a snow farm because yeah having a snowman in the base to get snow blocks wasn't really going to work out in fact it was quite funny every time a pig man would spawn in my portal they would go after the snowman and the snowman would start throwing snowballs at it. So it was pretty funny. But anyway, lots of work to do around here. Like I said, I think I'll probably do a lot of this uh, on live streams, putting in more water sources and kind of making sure all the blocks are in the right places. Looks like we missed some water sources in there as well. So yeah, just there's a lot to do. But I do want to get started on trying to figure out how we're, what we're going to do about this basement. So let me see where exactly can we go to to come down to a basement like there's no reason for us to go on top of here but we do want to come in and then be able to get into the farm via this door and i think i will switch out a lot of whatever's showing in the end with the the birch here i think i'll switch it out to some of the blackstone so that we're not actually in the end seeing a lot of the birch it should all get covered up but yeah we need to figure out i think i'll staircase down or something and then come into here and then let's dig out a bit of a basement that we can use for storage all right, so here's kind of what I'm thinking. We could come under the farm like this, and if we clean it out, we can actually see the pathways of the farm, which is pretty cool. So if somebody was in there and you were underneath, you could see them kind of scooting along the farm collecting ice. And now we can open this up. So this storage that was now facing the outside, we'll turn it around to the inside, and it can be right here down these steps. So let me do that real quick. 
That is much better. Now we can just come down the steps and our storage is all just right here. I even added a few extra chests so that we can store even more ice because we're going to be collecting a ton of ice from this gigantic ice farm. Oh, that's fabulous. So much to do here, though. We got to dig all this out. I want to get the snowman going. I want to make it like a really cool snowman farm, a uh, snow block farm anyway. So, But we're not going to do that today because oh, we have spent just so much time here today. Yeah, yeah, this was a ginormous build, ginormous build, and um, to be honest, I actually have been struggling to get this episode done. I I actually hurt my back during the recording of this. I strained my back a little bit, and it's been tough for me to sit down for long periods of time. So uh, aside from it being just a long, big project that we needed to put a lot of time into, I haven't really had uh, the time to sit down and finish this episode up because I can only work in like small, small little stints without my back hurting so uh anyway i do want to finish this episode up just by going back to the shopping district uh checking out a quayway town seeing what's going on over there because it's been at least a week since i have been over there and i have a feeling things have changed a little bit so let's let's go see what kind of shenanigans are going on in a quayway town it finally happened look at this we actually sold some beacons oh my gosh it, i can't remember how long it's been since we've last sold some beacons and p-tubs he has no clue still that he's got all these diamonds in here. I know I said I was going to tell him. I'll tell him right now. <laughs> there we go. I, I let him know. I was like, have you been to Lamps Plus lately? And he thought maybe I was doing renovations. But I said, no, you need to check out your cut of the profits because they are adding up here. And then uh, he brings up a good point. We really should be doing some renovations in here because we still only sell beacons and end rods, which is it's 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 kind of it's kind of lame. <laughs> we need to we need to do more. Look at all the things we planned on doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got to put in some work. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna talk to him. We'll see if we can get something going soon. But in the meanwhile, he's got 12 diamond blocks just sitting here waiting for him. Okay, diamond beacon. Somebody's flexing. Well, it looks like Azuma has been through to purchase some more emeralds, so I'll have to refill that. But at least we are not completely sold out. Yep, definitely some shenanigans. What is that noise? Uh, what? This clock is dedicated to B-dubs. And you can actually hear it. <laughs> Do you hear that clock? <laughs> oh, that's great. That looks great. What is this? <laughs> what, what is happening here? They're holding it's a scar and a B-dubs and it looks like it looks like an hourglass and sand is dropping and and they're holding out a, a plate. Is there anything like on top of these? No, wait, please sir. Can I have some more? <laughs> what is I, oh, oh more diamonds more flexing happening here. What is happening? I, I leave these guys alone for one week and now there's craziness going on. Uh-oh. What? These are probably uh, exclusive previews. Maybe I won't look at it. Well, well you'll have to look at uh, B-Dubs and Scar's video for whatever they're up to over there. I don't want to spoil anything. Okay. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we got some busy bees around here. That is for sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I do need to point out one thing I did see. It looks like Green has built, there it is, Barge Headquarters. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's a little bit taller than the 90 block limit that we had put on Azuma's. I mean, you can tell right there, Azuma's is way down there and this one's in here. Now the reasoning we put the limit on Azuma's wasn't just so that we could see the base, but it is kind of nice when you're looking at city skylines to be able to have the things on the outside a little bit shorter than the things on the inside. So if we take a look, like we can see this skyline here. If, if I can stand still in the beacon with the, let's just get out of the water. There we go. Now you can see like his building right here is smaller. So therefore you can see the buildings behind it. And as it gets towards the center, they get a little bit taller. That is kind of actually nice to see that skyline. So even though we declared ourselves the building officer of vertical enforcement, I mean, I don't think we need to enforce anything here because because it's actually towards the inside of the city. We really need to just keep our eye on the ex, the exports, the, the excerpts, ex, 
Hi, this is Future Impulse. I finally figured out what word I was looking for. It's outskirts. The outside of the island, we'll say. So anyway, like I said, we'll leave that building alone. We won't mess with it. We should start thinking about what we want to do with this penthouse area. Azuma had a good point. If we want to be able to see, you know, the surrounding areas, my base in particular from here, we may have to raise this floor up, but then the windows are kind of in the way. Um, so I had this idea of maybe we could do something out here with this balcony. That could be neat. And also, again, we want to make sure it looks good. So uh, lots to consider here for sure. It's, it's really not a huge space, but we could do a little bit with this and with this coin into this room as well. This is kind of cool because you can see the cafe from here, uh, which is cool. And I wonder if what's on the other side of, of this actually, let's just take a little, like a little poke there. It doesn't look like much. So if we wanted to, I wonder if we could, is this area just like nothing? Let's take a look. Is this, there's, there's really nothing in here. It's in between buildings. Hmm. That could be a thing. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, what is, uh oh. What is that? My ears! <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? Oh my goodness, that was loud. What is that coming from? That sounded like it was right here. What was that? Hi. Did you hear that? <laughs> It was so sort of ringing. <laughs> he says it's Scar's fault. <laughs> Very loud. I wonder what he's doing inside here. Oh, Green's always up to something. Anyway, I know this episode may be a little short and we kind of just bumbled around the last part of it, but please, please hit that like button because we put in so much work into just the first 45 seconds. Of There's that noise again. Oh my goodness. I gotta get out of here. Oh, please hit that like button, guys. It really would help out a lot. Let YouTube know that this video is worth a watch. And I really did enjoy making it, even though my back was in some pain during the recording. Uh, anyway, hopefully it gets better soon and we'll be back at it. But again, if you did like it, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that before you go. And with that said, I'll see you again next time. Have a good one, everyone.